I am back with another video of our environment chapter that we have already started in the last video. Hello everyone, this is Ratika Rai Bhattacharya. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Study Together with Ratika. First of all, let's discuss what is food chain. As in the last video, I explained to you that the producers produce the food and the primary consumers first of all feed on the producers and then the secondary consumers feed on Pro, uh, primary consumers, tertiary consumers feed on the secondary consumers. So this cycle goes on like this. Now, when you see here uh, the producers or you can say the organisms who produce food. Now this is the consumer, the primary level consumer. Then this one is the secondary level or tertiary level consumer. So I am just only writing secondary or tertiary level. This is primary. Now you know the producers will be eaten up by the consumers and the consumers will be eaten up by the decomposers. Okay? Now the decomposers will decompose the consumers and after that the residue will which will be left over it will again be taken up by the producers. So this becomes a type of a chain. right? So this is the series of organisms who are taking part and who are eating one another. This type of chain is known as food chain. In our ecosystem, it is not necessary that just only one organism is allowed to eat another organism. This is very simple to see and understand that this animal is eating both of these types of organisms, right? Now, this consumer, this primary level consumer can be eaten up by the snake or can directly be eaten up by the any other organism, right? So in this way, you can see that there is relationship between all the food chains that it is not necessary, just only a single chain is taking part in the whole uh, ecosystem. There are so many chains going on, right? All of these chains are going on and these chains are interdependent on each other. And this type of uh, system is known as a food web in which many number of food chains are participating okay. trophic levels as you know the light is providing the energy that is collected by the producers by the plants and then this energy is converted into the chemical energy or the food energy okay just only one percent of sunlight is collected by these organisms to make the food now when these producers are eaten up by the herbivores obviously 100% of energy is not consumed by the herbivores because there is some amount of energy which is lost in the surrounding like for example right now I am talking the whole food the energy that is present in my body whole energy I cannot use for talking because some of the energy is lost in various other metabolic activities which are taking place in my body for example, excretion, uh, circulation, respiration, all of these are examples in which the, some amount of energy is lost. That is why just only 10% of uh, energy is consumed by the herbivores when they feed on the producers. In the same way, when these carnivores will be eating the herbivores, they will again get just only 10% of energy. And the same cycle goes here also. Now, Let's understand this with the help of one example. These producers have 1000 joule of energy. Okay. Now, as you know that only 10% of energy will be given to the herbivores. It means how much energy will this herbivore get? 10% of this 1000. That is just only 100 joule. Now, this carnivore will be getting again only 10%. So, 10% of 100 joule is 10 joule. Now the top carnivores who will be eating these carnivores will again get just only 10% of 10 joule and you see here 10% of 10 joule is just only 1 joule right. So in this way you come to know that the energy level always keeps on decreasing whether it be any type of ecosystem whether it be pond ecosystem marine ecosystem or whatever type of ecosystem it is energy level will keep on decreasing because some amount of energy or you can say 90% of energy is lost in the surrounding. Biological okay? magnification or you can call it as biomagnification. 
as you saw here that the energy is getting transferred just not only energy is getting transferred there are many more number of things which are also getting transferred for example the chemicals right so biological magnification or biomagnification means the magnification of the chemicals from one individual to another individual understand this with this whole diagram this is an example of water ecosystem right here the producers are aquatic plants and algae right they will be producing the food now these organisms will be having considerable amount of chemicals in their body now how do they get the chemicals let's see that now for example this is some agricultural land where some crops are grown now the farmers will be providing the crops with pesticides and insecticides for further growth of the crops now when the rain falls here what will happen the ground water will be rich in water as well as the pesticides and insecticides which will travel down the soil with the water now this water when moves to the nearest water body will move along with the uh, dissolved pesticides and insecticides now this water body will also get the pesticides and insecticide whichever number of aquatic plants or aquatic animals are there now they will start feeding on these pesticides and insecticides and the water is not only having the dissolved oxygen but also pesticides and insecticides dissolved in it now these plants and animals are getting the pesticides and insecticides now let's move here now you see that these producers have pesticides and insecticides when the zooplankton which are the very uh, minute organisms okay and these organisms depend on the algae or very minute animals or other microorganisms here they will feed on the algae okay and the amount of uh, chemicals which was present here will be transferred to the zooplankton now obviously one zooplankton if we are talking about this one it is not going to eat just only one algae it will be having more than one algae so the amount of the chemical present in the zooplankton's body will be much higher than the producer's body okay now these small fishes will be taking these zooplankton as their food and again the same process will keep on going the amount of chemicals here now will be more than zooplankton now the large fish will be feeding on the small fish so the amount of chemicals will be again higher in the large fish now humans and eagles are the top consumers in any ecosystem okay when they will be feeding on these large fishes so the amount of chemical in their body will be highest so this is known as biomagnification in which the amount of chemical keeps on accumulating in the body of an organism so this was all about this video in our next video we will be discussing about how do our activities affect the environment which includes ozone layer and the garbage that we produce i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like share and subscribe to this channel thank you and please stay safe